So namaste, my friends. Namaste. Welcome. Aslam alaikum sasriyakal. We're going to be continuing with our practice of the autumnal equinox. So we've just sort of moved through that period in the last few days and hours. And today I really want to invite in that sense of um, the vibrational energy that creates balance, that creates um, the balance between light and dark between the sun and the moon, between Shiva and Shakti, between Ida and Pingala, between creation and consciousness. And that balance between these energies as they draw in towards one another and the point at which they meet and merge so that they become inseparable I invite you to bring um, namas, Namaskar Mutla today, this sense of balance here at the heart. Opening my practice by chanting Om three times and then our mantra for today. Then I'm going to offer us a, um, a breath with our mantra. Inhale. Oh, oh. Soham Swaha Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha Om Namaste. Sasiyakal. Asalaamu Alaikum. Welcome. So the mantra that we just chanted, Om Harim Hamsa So Ham Swaha, is a mantra that we, um, so Om is the vibration of creation. Harim is the seed sound, the bija, that, um, dispels darkness that draws in the cosmic light of the sun. So this dispelling of darkness, this dispelling of illusions, of delusions, of maya, of all the things that cloud our vision, our perspective, our understanding, people, thoughts, situations. Hamsa and so hum. These two come together, hamsa, soham. Hamsa, who am I? Soham, I am that. So who am I? I am that. I am balance. I am integration between light and dark, between shadow and illumination, between the sun and the moon, between Shiva and Shakti, between creation and consciousness, that is the meeting place. And Swaha is the dedication, the gift, or so be it. It's this sort of offering. So our practice, we're going to practice Analom Volom, alternate nostril breathing with the mantra. So we're gonna break up the mantra on the inhale and the exhale. So I'll do one round demonstration and then we'll do several rounds together. So let's bring the dominant hand into Vishnu Mudra by folding in the peace fingers. So that's your peace fingers is your index and middle finger, thumb, ring and little finger extended. The other hand, thumb and index in Chin Mudra, Mudra 
spiritual consciousness. So, an alone below is in left, out right, in right, out left, in left, out right, in right, out left, as if we're climbing the mountain. And what we're doing with our breath by traveling from the nostril to the Agnya Chakra, the third eye, and then back down the other side, like a mountain or a peak. The Agnya Chakra here is the meeting place of uh, Shiva and Shakti, the Kundalini energy that rises through the chakras meets here at the third eye. This is where we have insight and clarification. Taking a full breath, to prepare. Inhale left. Om. So you will chant it silently in your mind. Exhale right. Harim. Harim. Inhale right. Hum. Exhale left, sa. Inhale left, so. Exhale right, hum. Inhale right, swa. Exhale left, ha. And so we start on the left nostril and we end on the left nostril for this um, mantra. So silently chanting in your, um, in, in the, the heart, in the depth of the heart, the root of the heart, or wherever the place that feels deepest to you in your subtle body. So in Om, Harim, in Om left, Harim out right. Hum in right, sa out left. So in left, hum out right. Swa in right, ha, swa ha out left. I'll do the chanting and the mantra, um, the nostril guiding the nostril breath guiding for you as well to support you. It sounds complicated, but once you get into the flow of it, it'll be, it'll, it'll flow harmoniously for you, my friends. Take a full breath in, full breath out to prepare. In left, om. Out, right, harim. In, right, hum. Out, left, sa. In, left, so. Out, right, hum. In, right, swa. Out, left, ha. In, left, om. Out, right, harim. In, right, hum. Out, left, sa. In, left, so. Out, right, hum. In, right, so. Out, left, ha. Final round. In, left, on. Out, right, harim. In, right, hum. 
out left saw. In left saw. Out right hum. In right saw. Out left ha. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Hands together at the heart. Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha. Let's bring our hands to the earth, placing the fingertips on the earth. As you inhale, let's take a lateral bend over to the left. You can bring your hands into Kubira Mudra. We worked with this mudra the other day. Kubira Mudra is we um, bring the thumb and index, pinch it to the thumb, and we curl in the ring a little finger, as if we're sort of pinching a little bit of stardust. Through center over to the right. Let's go in both directions. So we're working in this sort of place um, that is um, the equinox. I sort of this, keep doing your left and right, my friend, as I try and find my words today. Um, we're, we're, we're finding the fiery energy that we're drawing upon the sun so we can draw upon the courage that the energy of the, set, the sun, the pingala, offers us and then we're moving into a period of, of coolness and drawing upon the cooling energy of the moon of the night either and by bringing these two together we find balance let's come back to center reach up towards the sky exhale to look over your right shoulder Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Let's flow like this three times. From right to left, from left to right. And then back to center after you've turned to the left. And then bring the hands in namaskar at the heart. Extend the right left leg long, keep that Heel tucked in here. Take a moment here. Turn over to the left leg. Hands in Namaskar. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold towards the left foot. One more breath here. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Extend the right leg long, tuck in the left. Turn your heart over towards the right leg. Keep that right foot flexed. Hands in Namaskar at the heart, reach up. Exhale to hinge forward towards the foot. Take a moment here, my friend. And then let's inhale and reach up towards the sky with Namaskar. Exhale to the heart, back to center. Now let's extend that left leg long for a moment. Open both legs, straddling here in Vista uh, Konasana. Bring the hands to the heart. Inhale to reach up with Namaskar. Exhale to hinge forward. Now, my friends, you may be halfway. You may be down close to the earth. Reach wherever you wish, wherever um, the journey takes you in your body. This is not about looking like everybody else. This is not about perfection. This is about harmonious balance and integration within the self. Inhale to reach up. 
exhale, hands to your heart. Let's cross the right leg over the left, coming into um, Ardha Matsyandrasana with the left leg extended. Hug in the right knee. Let's wrap the right arm around and then bring your hands into your Kubira Mudra. Take the right arm up. Exhale to look over the right shoulder. Kubira Mudra um, is the mudra that uh, we talked about this, the energies that are represented, the elemental energies that are represented by each of the fingers, the thumb, the index, and the middle are inviting us into courage, inviting us into spiritual uh, integration, are inviting us into action. Inhale back to center, uncross that right leg, extend it out again, and then let's fold in the left leg over the right, keep that foot flexed, hug in that left knee with your right elbow, Again, bringing your hands into your Kapira Mudra, left arm reaches up. Exhale, turn towards the left. Finding balance. Finding equilibrium. Inhale, back to center. Take a moment here, release the legs. Let's bring both legs together now so we can move into Paschimottanasana. Forward fold here. Flex the feet. Lift out of the root. Lengthen the spine. Hands in Namaskar at the heart. Bringing left and right. Shiva and Shakti. Creation and consciousness. Ida and Pingala, Solar and Luna, together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward towards the feet. And again, reach where you are feeling comfortable. You can have a soft bend in the knees, a deep bend in the knees. Your hands can be anywhere along the length of your legs. Three deep breaths here. Inhaling, hands come in Namaskar, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here and then let's swing our legs around. Come onto all fours, my friends, into Bhamarasana. Make sure I have my candle in a place where I won't set anything alight. So spread your fingers wide. Draw the navel into the spine, length, uh, towards the navel towards the spine and lengthen from the root to the crown, from the muladhar to the sahasarar. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop um, the belly, draw the shoulder blades together to open the front of the heart and lift the chin to extend through the throat. Exhale to curl, allowing this movement to flow through the full length. So I was finding dog hair on my mat, my sacred mat. Completing your rounds of Matriyasana and Bitriyasana. And when you're ready, my friends, let's come into stillness. Extend that right leg long, flex the foot. Maintain this pose, Sargulasana, with hands on the earth, or shift the weight slightly into the right hand and reach forward with your Kubira Mudra with the left arm, balancing here. One breath here and then bend into the knee, bend into the elbow and bring them to touch and meet under the heart. Extend 
Exhale to meet. Inhale to extend. Exhale to meet. Inhale to extend. Take a moment here. Drop the right foot so that the toes are tucked in and inhale, open with the left arm to the sky. One more breath here. Exhale, lower the left hand to the earth. Begin to pivot on the ball of your, on the, the right foot so that you bring the heel to the earth. Bring your left hand down, lift the right arm and reach up towards the sky with the right arm so that you come into uh, half um, side plank on the left knee. Option, my friends, to stay here or extend the left leg long to come into a side plank with the knee lifted. Turn the head down towards the earth, bring the right hand to the earth, and then let's bring both of our knees to the earth. Take a moment here. Let's create a figure of eight with our hips in one direction and then in another direction. And then let's move to the other side. Extend the left leg long, tuck the foot. Draw in the navel, lengthen from the heel to the crown here. Staying here or extending the right arm long. Balancing here in Saradulasana. Exhaling, let's bring the knee and elbow to touch. Inhaling to extend. Three times. And then my friends, let's bring the left foot to the earth, tuck the toes, open out with the right arm to the sky. A twist here. Paripitta Mamarasana. Exhale, bring the right hand to the earth. Begin to turn the heart towards the left. Come onto the sole of the right foot. Keep that right knee on the earth. And then when you're ready, lift your left fingers up towards the sky, coming into side plank here, a supported side plank. Option to stay here. Or extend the right leg long. Turn your gaze down towards the earth. Bring the left hand to the earth. Roll onto the balls of your feet and bring your knees to the earth. Take a moment here. Come into child's pose, my friends. And in your child's pose, you can have your knees close or wide together. Extend your arms along the earth, palms together in Namaskar. So Namaskar is often not a... Um, um, mudra that we often think about um, in terms of its significance. We know that it's a way that we greet and, and bow in welcome, in, um, in connecting from the essence of my being to the essence of your being. This is bringing um, all aspects of the self into balance. Understanding that there is integration and harmony and union. One more breath here. Inhale to rise up onto your knees. Let's take a moment. And I'm going to invite you to come onto your knees here. We're going to move into gate pose. So you may turn to the length, to the long side of your mat or stay where you are if you have lots of space um, at home. And here, my friends. Hands in Namaskar at the heart. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale to reach up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale to reach up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more time. Inhale to reach up. Gentle back bend. Hands to the heart. Take a moment here. 
And then let's extend the right leg long so that we come into Paridasana, gate pose. Inhale, reach up. Namaskar. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Take a moment here. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring in the right knee. And let's extend the left leg long. And if you wish to pad your knees here, my friends, please reach for a blanket or a cushion. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment here, and then let's bring that leg in. Reach towards the earth in child's pose, Balasana, with your namaskar reaching along the earth. Rise up into mountain and begin to walk your feet here, pedaling and swaying the hips, my friends. And then when you're ready, let's walk our hands back towards our feet. Coming into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Now here in your forward fold, my friends, your options with your hands. You may wrap your peace fingers around your toes. You may place your uh, hands around the back of your feet calves, you may opt to place your hands, your palms underneath the feet. So see where you want to be here, my friends. We'll all be in different places, depending on what we feel that we need. If you are wrapping your peace fingers, then press your thumbs into the nail of your big toes. And if you are placing your palms underneath the soles of your feet, Have your toes into the fold of your wrist. Soften the crown, the shoulders, tailbone reaching up. You can have a soft or deep bend in your knees. Breathing here. Om Harim Hamsa So Ham Swaha. Om, the vibrational sound of creativity, of creation. Harim, the seed that draws upon the illuminating light of the sun to clear away. Hamsa. So hum, who am I? I am that. I am balance, integration. Swaha, an offering, a gift. Release your hands from whether they're wrapped around your calves, holding the piece, um, holding the big toes in the toe lock, or palms underneath. Maintain the fold. Let's place the right hand on the earth in front of us, just in front of the feet, and then draw the left arm up towards the sky. Coming into your Kubira Mudra here. Your gaze can stay down towards the earth, be parallel to the horizon, or look up towards that left hand. Wrap the left hand round and tuck it into the right thigh or rest it on the lower back on the right side. 
it may help to bend a little more deeply in the right knee to be able to open up into this twist here. One more breath here. Turn your gaze down towards the earth. Release that right left hand from the right hip and bring it back down towards the earth and replace the right hand with the left hand. And here, my friends, let's draw the right arm up towards the sky. You can take your gaze with you or keep your gaze to the horizon or down towards the earth, your this choice. And if you wish, you can take the right hand, place it on the lower back, on the left side, tuck it in towards the left thigh. You might want to bend deeper into your left knee to open up the heart towards the right. One full breath here. Turn your gaze down towards the earth. Release the right hand and bring it down to meet the earth here. Let's walk the feet here, lift the heel. It's walking on the spot, bending into one knee as you lift the heel. And then let's bend into the knees and rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's call to turn on our mat. Hands of the heart in Namaskar. Connecting with where you want to invite balance, harmony, integration in your daily life your path, your journey. Draw the hands above the crown in Namaskar. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Bring the hands to the heart for a moment. Step across the mat with your right foot. Open out the legs in Tarasana and then open out the arms. My hands here on Kubira Mudra, this mudra that we have been working with, that um, draws in abundance of types of energy that we are working with here at the Equinox. Take a full moment here. Turn the right toes up towards the right, hinge over to the right. Reaching as far as you can, have a soft bend in your knee pads. And then reach down towards the earth or a block with your right hand. Left hand reaches up to the sky or rests on the left hip. It's your choice, my friends. Trikonasana. Triangle pose. Exhale, gaze down towards the earth. Bring the left hand to the earth and step that left foot slightly forward to come into our um, pyramid. Fold over the right leg. Now, my friends, we're going to come into a little twist here. So, options here. Keep the left hand on the earth or on a block. Remember, the block represents the earth for you. Either parallel to your right foot or cross that left hand over to the Little toe side of the right foot. Bring the right hand to the right hip and begin to open the shoulder to the right, like right? turning into the heart and lifting the gaze here. And this might be enough of a twist here for you. So remember, you can have your left hand um, parallel to the right foot rather on the, the big toe side rather than crossed over to the little toe side. This will give you more stability. And when you're ready, my friends, and only if you wish to, you can lift the right arm up to the sky. You may also cross the right hand onto the left side of your lower back or tuck it in towards the left hip 
again, opening into this twist here to the right. You may be wobbling here and that's okay. Remember to use the props. That left hand can be on a stool, on a chair, on a bit of furniture, on your pets if you wish. When you're ready, my friends, let's release that right hand wherever it is. Turn the gaze down towards the earth. And bring the right down to right hand down to the earth. Uncross the left hand. Now here, my friends, we're going to move into our Ardha Chandrasana. Ardha Chandrasana. Yeah, Ardha Chandrasana. your kiss. Place your hands on the earth, blocks or some furniture. Bend into that right knee and hop that left foot up. Now that left foot can stay slightly connected to the earth with through the big toe. Or it can be lifted so it's parallel to the earth. When you're ready, my friends, begin to open out the left hip and release the left hand from the earth or from your support, keeping the right hand connected with your support. The left hand can come to the left hip. And when you're ready, you can open up to the sky here. We're all going to be in different places here, my friends, again. That right hand on a, on a sofa feels great. We're not, remember what we're trying to achieve. We're balancing on the right leg. So even if we have our left toe on the earth and we're balancing on our right leg, as long as we can feel that the right leg is supporting us here and the left leg is free of any sort of weight, then we are achieving the same benefits. Exhale, bring the left foot to meet the right foot, turn the heart down towards the earth, walk the feet here by bending into the knees. And then let's rise up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, quarter turn here. Take a moment to connect with your mantra, your intentions. Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha. Inhale, hands reach up in Namaskar. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to left. So you can see we're doing Chandra Namaskar. I didn't point that out to you, but I'm sure you can see we're doing that. Exhale, hands to the heart. Step across the mat with the left foot to open in, open up into Tarasana. Hands in Kubira Mudra. Turn the left foot towards the bottom of the mat. We're going to move into Trikonasana over to the left. So hinge to the left. Exhale, left hand can come onto the block, onto the earth, directly itself, or onto the leg. Right hand can be on the right hip. Open up the heart. Right hand can reach up towards the sky. Yogi's choice, wherever you are. Turn the gaze down towards the left foot. Bring the right hand down to the earth. And let's slightly step forward with that right foot to create our pyramid base here. Fold over the left leg here. So the right foot is at 45 degree angle. And you can be as wide as your mat. Your foot can be wherever feels comfortable. So play around with this pyramid. What feels comfortable for you? Right hand can stay on the earth, parallel to the left foot. Or you can begin to walk the right hand over the left foot and bring the right hand to the earth on the little toe side of your left foot. You can also place a block here. Begin to take your left hand to the left hip and open up the heart towards the left. 
This is where you may stay. If you wish, you can reach up towards the sky with the left hand. Turning deeper at the torso. You may also wrap your left hand around to the lower back on the right side or bring that left hand to the right hip. So we're all going to be in, again in different places here, my friends. We're creating a twist. How deep that twist is depends entirely on your body, your shape. Turn to gaze down towards the earth. As you begin to unspiral here, release that left hand, bring it down towards the earth. Both hands on the earth here. Now from here, we're going to move into our Ardha Chandrasan. So hands connect with the earth. Whether that earth is lifted and raised up towards you, or whether it is, there's a little bit more of a reach for it. Bend into the left knee and hop that right leg up. You can stay on the big toe here if you wish. We can bring the leg parallel to the earth or anywhere in that journey, in that spectrum. Let's balance with the left hand so that we can begin to lift the right hand. Now the left hand can be on furniture or on the earth. Bring the right hand to the right hip. Flexing the right foot here. And when you're ready, my friends, you can reach up towards the sky with your right arm if you choose. Spiral the heart towards the right opening here. And when you're ready, my friends, bend into that right leg, bring the right foot to meet the left foot, in forward fold here, walk through the legs, pedaling here, and then when you're right, ready, let's rise up, exhale, the massage the heart, quarter turn on your mat. Find your breath, find the equilibrium between the in and the out breath. The harmonious flow between the inhale and the exhale. Hands at the heart here. My friend, step to the center of your mat here and have your legs slightly wide apart, not as far as Tadasan, a little bit closer. And bend into your knees here. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to hinge forward. Keep a bend in your knees if you wish, a gentle bend so that you are parallel to the earth here. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart in Namaskar. Begin to turn over towards the left and take your hands round to the back of the left leg so that you come into a little bit of a twist. You can hold here onto the ankles. Inhale, hands to your heart, back to center, parallel to the earth. Exhale, turn over to the right. And again, take your hands to the back of the right leg and apply a little bit of a gentle push and pull here to open up a little bit more into this twist. So turning into the twist, opening the heart over towards the right. Hands at heart, back to center. Parallel here, hands reach out. Bend into your knees to rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And now let's step our feet closer. 
We'll be moving into our balance. Let's find your Tadasana first, your standing mountain. Remember, you might want to do a little jump and see where you land. Lift the toes, place them on the earth one by one. Bend into your knees. Zip up through the midline. Release the shoulders down and away. Let's shift the weight into the left leg and peel off the heel of the right foot and begin to bend into this knee here. Flex the right foot here. I'm just going to put over here. If you are near a wall, my friends, you can reach out to the wall to support you with one hand. Begin to turn your gaze towards the right and take the left hand to the outside of that right knee. And keep turning your gaze here, my friend. And then if you're ready, you can open out that right arm to reach out behind you. You can take that right hand to the lower side of the left back and wrap it round towards the hip. So that you are creating more of a deeper twist here. Keeping your hands in your Kubira Mudra baby. Or hands reaching behind you. If you wish, you can reach for your left big toe and extend that right leg long. So left big toe. With your left fingers, reach for your right big toe. And again, depending on the hamstrings, depending on what's happening with the knees, You'll be in different places here. Exhale, let's come back to center. Release the right foot to the earth. Maybe you sway and walk through the legs a little here. Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha. Shift the weight into the right leg and peel off the left heel. Finding your balance by focusing on your drishti on the horizon. Again, begin to turn over to the left after you've lifted that right foot by bending into that left foot by bending into the left knee. My left and right are completely merged and mingled here. No idea which one's which now. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee. This left hand can be supporting you by placing it on the wall. And if you're ready, you can reach behind you with the left arm. You might be making small micro movements here. You also have the option of wrapping that left hand around the right hip, careful of your tendons. If you wish, you can extend that right leg long, that left leg long. Wherever you are, my friends. When you're ready, whether your left leg is extended. Begin to release here by turning your head, releasing your foot and coming back to center. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, namaskar. Exhale, slow down towards the earth. Let's come on to our knees. And extend our body long, prone on the earth. And we're going to come into Danda Pranam. So extend the arms, 
Open your hand and to Namaskar. Imagine that you don't have any dogs. And is apparently working. <laughs> That's good. Extend your arms long. Extend your arms overhead, hands in pranam. Softening here. In your Danda Pranam. Let's connect with our mantra. Om Harim Hamsa Soham Swaha. 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 Warm your Danda Pranam, my friends. Let's bend into your elbows and bring your hands behind your head. Releasing your hands alongside your shoulders. Press into the fingertips. Claw into the earth, tuck your elbows. Inhale to rise up in Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale back into child's pose. Three, four breaths here. Inhale, lift your gaze. Move into Bhujangasana. Exhale, into Charles Pose. Inhale, into Bhujangasana. Exhale, into Charles Pose. Last round, inhale into Bhujangasana. Exhale into Charles Pose. Let's cross the right arm underneath the body and place the right ear on the earth floor, coming into Parivrita Balasana. Child's pose with twist. You may take that left hand and wrap it into the right hip. When you're ready, release the left hand. Go out the right arm. And let's fold the left arm underneath the body, coming into threading the needle variation here. And the right arm can stay extended on the earth, or you can wrap that left hand into the, the right hand into the left hip even. Three more breaths here, my friends. And when you're ready, lift 
and release the arms back into child's pose. And take three full breaths here. I invite you to rise up for Sukhasan and closing, or if you wish to stay in Shavasana, you have your choice here. Hands in Kabira Mutra, eyes softly closed. Take a moment. We're going to close our practice with our Analom Balom Pranayam with the mantra. So preparing the dominant hand into Vishnu Mudru by folding in the peace fingers. That's your index and middle, extending the thumb, ring the little finger, bringing the hands in front of the face. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Closing the right nostril, inhale left, on. Close the left, release the right, exhale, harim. Inhale, hum, right. Cover the right, release the left. Exhale, sa. Inhale, so, left. Cover the left, release the right. Exhale, hum. Inhale, swa, right. Cover the right, release the left. Exhale, ha. Release the mudra. Release the mantra, release the pranayam. And bring your hands together in namaskar at the heart. Om Harim Hamsa So Ham Swaha. Om Harim Hamsa So Ham Swaha. Om Harim So Ham Hamsa So Ham Swaha. Om Harim Hamsa So Ham Swaha. Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti. Danyavad. Danyavad, my friends. Danyavad to you all.